how is it going everybody welcome back to another team of the week a card we have a very interesting card it's uh everyone's nightmare in the 50k packs that is of course about veg horse now you may be asking why and i mean it's probably not the one i would you know go to straight away to review uh you know logically that's not really something i would do but uh, I don't really like spending, to be honest, you know, on Wednesdays when Team of the Week releases. I don't really like to spend too much on the Team of the Week cards just because, uh, you know, with an influx and supply throughout the week, they always go down in price. So, and obviously I'm not the richest, so I don't really have the the room to be losing too much coins. But, uh, Veghorst, uh, you know, it's an interesting card, you know, cheeky strong link to Bastos, by the way, which is pretty exciting. But Veghorst, I mean, obviously not meta. Uh, you know what you're going to be getting from them, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys will get them in your red picks tomorrow, which uh, will be interesting. Maybe you can use them as an object, you know, objective card for your uh, the foundations and league cards, but yeah, it's not really one that uh, many people will go to, but you know, perhaps an option uh, if you have like a speedy a speedy attacker with them in a two striker formation, and you need like a a stronger striker who can finish uh, very well. So uh, we'll get into the stats, of course. We'll start out with the pace uh he has 76 sprint speed which is actually pretty good uh, and then the 61 acceleration which is not so good so the pace you know there's not a chem style in the game at all that will help him uh and change his pace and make him feel very fast but uh you know you gotta know how to use him you know he obviously doesn't have that pace but he has that size and strength uh, to make up for that lack of pace so uh, you just gotta use him correctly uh, obviously, as I mentioned before, you're not going to be able to use him in a one striker formation alone, uh, and your attacks will just die off. But uh, you know, the pace just something to keep in mind when using this card. Obviously, you're not going to be able to run through uh, defenses with him. But uh, the shooting, most important stat for your, of course, striker. Uh, you know, he's very good. He's clinical. He has that killer instinct, which is crucial. Uh, he's got 89 attack positioning, which is very helpful as you know someone who's not so quick you know he has that positioning to uh, create his own chances for him and finds these good spaces inside the area he makes very good straight uh runs and you know it's very easy to play him through over the top maybe uh, and you can use his size to win the ball in the air and then 90 finishing with the 88 composure you know he's very good uh and as i said very you know he never he doesn't miss too much so he's gonna be a good goal scorer for you guys inside the area 88 shot power, which is also pretty good, and uh, 73 long shots, which isn't really important. This guy's really just going to be sitting inside the area and trying to cause uh, problems for the two center backs. Uh, 84 volleys, 81 pens is also pretty decent. Uh, in terms of passing, this is a stat you need for a striker of Veghorse's uh, style. You know, 80 short pass is, I think, just enough. You know, it's, it's good. Maybe you want to boost that with a chemistry style. And then the other stats here, 68 vision and 50 long pass is quite atrocious. So, uh, you know, I think the short pass is just enough to link play together. Uh, in terms of on the ball, you're just not going to want to do much with him. Uh, you know, with the 47 balance and 67 agility and 69 dribbling, three-star skills, you know, there's not much you can do with him. And, you know, you'd be quite crazy if you, if you tried to uh, dribble with this guy. Uh, he does feel like a truck. Uh, he's very clunky, and I mean, as I say that, you know, he does a little bit of skill run here, but uh, you're not going to want to be doing too much with him. Uh, as I said, you know, he's just going to be someone who finishes chances uh, and sits in the area. You know, has great physicality stats, uh, very good in the air, six foot six, uh, with the 82 jumping and 95 heading accuracy. He's very good uh, in the air, and then he's got 88 stamina, which you know he'll last full game, 89 strength, and 86 aggression. So he's just going to be a nuisance for the defenders and. You know, he's just more of a budget striker for maybe a Dutch team or a Bundesliga team and not really your go-to choice. So uh, obviously not meta, obviously not the perfect striker, but you know, he has some usability, I feel like. So that's going to be my Veg Horse review. Please like the video, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.